Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just got payback on crooked Democrats when he walked into Easter Mass. They're humiliated. As the left breathlessly reports, President Donald Trump celebrated his Easter Sunday by lashing out at undocumented immigrants. The rest of America is hunkering down as an army of Central Americans. Approximately 1,500 people have started on a journey through Mexico towards the U.S. border, intending to request Easter asylum when they arrive. Mexican officials have aided the so-called Holy Week caravan of illegal aliens intent on invading U.S. borders. Mostly Hondurans, they posted celebration videos on Facebook and chanted We are migrants. We are not criminals. We are workers. Univision reported on the massive group of men women, and children making the 2,500-mile month-long journey beginning on Monday. The group began their trek to the U.S. border on Sunday, March 25. Although the invaders are marching through Mexico illegally, Mexican authorities are reportedly doing nothing to stop them, as they boldly go right through immigration checkpoints and military bases, and the local townspeople and churches are feeding them as they pass through each community. Trucks and buses sometimes give them transportation for several miles to the next town. When there is no transportation, they walk. In a series of tweets, Trump signaled a return to his America First immigration agenda, mentioning that he will no longer try to negotiate a deal between the GOP establishment and Democrats on the issue of giving amnesty to potentially millions of illegal aliens shielded from deportation by the President Obama created Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DSEA, program. Addressing this coming invasion of illegal aliens to our borders, President Trump tweeted. Border Patrol agents are not allowed to properly do their job at the border because of ridiculous liberal, Democrat, laws like catch and release. Getting more dangerous? Caravans coming. Republicans must go to nuclear option to pass tough laws now. No more DACA deal. As a result, just prior to entering the Bethesda by the Sea Church for Easter Sunday services with his family, President Trump stood in front of the doors answering questions about his call to end deportation protection for so-called dreamers via social media. He stopped to speak to the press following the trio of tweets he sent out about the border and DACA earlier in the morning. President Trump referenced Mexico's lack of cooperation in regards to the border and how the Mexican government actually assists people in breaking U.S. immigration laws. Yet were Americans to do the same in return defying Mexican immigration laws, they would be imprisoned or worse. President Trump's previous offer on DACA to Democrats gave amnesty to 1.8 million illegal aliens. This is more than six times the population of Obama's original DACA program. At the current rate of growth, DACA is growing uncontrollable and unenforceable, allowing an opening for amnesty to millions more illegal aliens. Some view these Easter morning statements from President Trump as a turning point for the White House on immigration since the attempt to negotiate a DACA amnesty plan that would please Democrats as well as Republicans while preserving American borders and reducing overall immigration levels to the U.S. ultimately left the White House with nothing to show for the effort. Some are advocating for a nuclear option which would allow Republicans to pass desperately needed immigration reform in the Senate with a simple majority of 51 votes. However, it would require the GOP to destroy the filibuster and this could come back to haunt them in a big way during future administrations. Currently, the only thing protecting DACA recipients is an injunction that prevents the Trump administration from ending the program while a lawsuit challenging President Trump's authority to end DACA moves through the court system. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.